Warning, this video does not contain a fix. It contains a fail. Hello and welcome to another video. When I was shooting one of my cassette haul videos, or after I shot it, I had a mass session where I uh, rewound all the, uh, fast forwarded all the cassettes to one end and all of them back to the other, which you're supposed to do before you use them. And this one wasn't working properly. It just seemed to be spinning really fast. So I took it out of the cassette player and I realized that the um, cassette has come, the tape has come away from the hub there. So in this video, I'm going to be opening it up if I can to fix it back on again. So I've got my trusty iFixit screwdriver. There'll be a link to this in the uh, description box below. And while I'm talking about links, there'll also be a link to the, uh, the cassette haul video I did. And also, I must remember each video to remind you that there's a link to my Patreon page in the description box as well. If you want to support me on Patreon, that would be very kind of you. Thank you very much. Um, so all I'm doing... Now some cassettes, if you didn't know, some cassettes are welded shut or glued shut. But this one, this Sony HF90, has got screws in it. So uh, I think I might have opened one of these up many, many years ago, perhaps to cut off a bit of tape that had been um, mangled in the cassette player somewhere, back before I knew that, that you had to uh, clean the uh, capstan and the pinch roller from time to time. But it was a long, long time ago. And I remember my family had a metal block, which was a spicing block with some grooves cut in it. And it had a... Um, a blade like a Stanley blade in there so but it's a long time and I can't remember exactly what I did so I'm going to try to keep this in shot whilst looking around the phone okay so one of those has come out there one of those has come out there and this is oh I shouldn't be using this screwdriver it's got a magnetic bit in it so let's grab that will do Let's have a close look inside there, now I've opened it up. Don't want to go touching anything because it will probably fall out and I won't be able to um, won't be able to put it back in the right place again. So I'm gonna to have to touch the tape though. I'll just get some um, tweezers. These ones will do, they were within arm's reach anyway. Right, so let's have a look at this bit here. I wonder why it's got a green bit on it. Anyway, that comes out round here. It's got to go that side of the uh, sport. Oh god, I'm going to get a right mess here. I think I'll put it around the spools after I've clipped it in. Now, let's have a good look at this. Right, okay. So that little plastic hub, oh, it's broken. It's snapped. Oh, I should be using my new um, my new phone for this because it's got a macro for still shots. So it's snapped there. So that bit is actually snapped. So I'm not sure I'm going to be able to replace that. I can probably glue it, but it probably won't be as strong as it used to be but I do I have kept a box of spare cassettes so give me a second now to be honest I don't really need one cassette out of that batch I have nine other Sony HF90 spare and probably about 40 spare blank cassettes in total and this cassette Side A's condition is good, but side, side B's condition is poor, and I was thinking maybe I could use it for test recordings. So what I might do is this... Oh, look, there's an example of a sealed... I can't get into this one without breaking it, because it's, um, it's sealed. And there's me thinking this video might be simple and quick to do, and maybe in one take. But that's not the case. So what I've decided to do, there's no point in me sacrificing another cassette just to try and fix this one cassette. So either this little bit that's broken is going to get fixed 
or the cassette's just going to go off well, I can't even recycle them, it'll go into landfill so let's get myself set up and uh, start with the super glue right I bet you didn't think you'd be watching a video of someone gluing something today, did you? So let's see if I can keep this in shot, see around the camera and not stick myself to a piece of plastic. Yeah. It's very, very fiddly and practically impossible to keep in shot. There we go. So I need to be applying a little bit of super glue to that join there, if I can. I don't think we need a lot, but then again, I don't want it coming undone again. So let's just get a little bit of glue coming out. There we go. Uh, I want to try and avoid getting glue on the outside of this. I'm just looking for something I can use. It's actually much easier to see on, on the phone screen than it is to see, see around the phone. So I just wiped it off with a bit of um, plain white paper there. And now I'm going to try and get that in shot and close that up. Oh, it's not really... These tweezers aren't ideal, so still too much glue on it. Oh, there we go, so that will do. I don't even know whether there's enough glue on it to make it stick now. So let's have a th let's see if that's going to work. I don't know how to get these back in again, though. That's the problem. So I think I can just see a little bit of glue seeping out from the edge there. And uh, I'm not going to make you wait the um, minute or so. I'm going to hold this to make sure it sticks. So I'll be back in a minute. OK, so I held it for a minute. And it appears to be back in place. But I'm going to let the glue stick for a little bit longer. I'll read the instructions on the glue packet and see how long I've got to leave it. It might say 24 hours, but I haven't got that long to wait with all this stuff out on my desk. So the instructions on the glue say um, press it together for uh, 30 seconds and then leave it undisturbed for 10 minutes which is what I've done and then looking at this I'm trying to figure out how this would have gone in there just like that I guess it's very fiddly no oh, that must be up the other way ah, so I reckon it must be this way Oh, this is a bit tricky, isn't it? You know what? I should have watched a YouTube video on this before I did it. And this tape has got Beatles on it. And I'm not even a fan of the Beatles. I probably won't be able to listen to it very much. But I just wanted the satisfaction of knowing that I've done it. Right, so my guess is... This slides in, let's see if I can get it in shot, slides in here. If, it's, if it presses in, I think it might break again. So I'm going to try and slide it in. But I need to get the tape in. I know I need to get, oh yeah, it's like a little spring. So those two little lugs, just at the end there, that clips in, but it's... It's pushed in like a spring, so my guess is, so my guess is I'm gonna, I should be pushing this in like that. So pushing, I'm gonna take the tape out a little bit more, try not to unspool it. I don't really want to push this in, because if I push this in, it's getting shot. I think it might snap again. It might be too fiddly otherwise. Should we go for it? I 
And I'm just going to push this in if I can. Actually, I might just go for it with a longer bit of tape. Then I can just I can just snip off the excess tape. Where did that go? You know what? In for a penny, in for a pound. And then get the tape attached. I'm just going to hold that for 10 seconds and then give it five minutes to go off. I just need it to hold the tape in there so I can finish. And then I can slide this clip in. That's the plan. Right, super glue does not work on cassette tape. This is very fiddly and I keep going out of shot. Sorry about that. Ah, there we go. Right. So the secret is use the crease on the tape to get the tape onto the spool. And now I'm going to try and slide this in. I see. So these lugs are slightly too big to slide in because they need tension to hold them in there, I guess. So I need to pinch it quite hard. I'm going to pinch it quite hard at the top and hopefully be able to slide the bottom part in. There's probably some... Ah, oh, it's broken again. OK, I've been for a walk, a coffee and a think and I've come to the conclusion that you can't save them all I'm going to have to give up on this one, and uh, unfortunately it's a landfill job, you can't recycle any of this. Um, I had deleted the earlier footage of this one, but I thought there might be someone out there who knows how to do it properly. So I'll put the footage up early, but I'll put a warning on it that it's probably not worth watching, and it's a complete repair fail. So if you did get this far, thanks very much. If you've got any ideas, put them in the comments please. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.